I got all the Stream Factory videos on here for some reason. <laughs> I've got the Dead Pit on the Road to Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. God. You mean like do a commentary over that? Hell, I don't know. I was just looking at what I got. I got us reviewing the Halloween from a long freaking time ago. Let's see what this is. I, I don't even know how this works exactly. Watch the New Jack scaffold. Man. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Dead Pit's <laughs> Pit Stop here on the Horror Channel. I'm the Creepy Kentuckian. And I'm Uncle Bill. The this Horror week, Channel. Since oh, God. Rob Zombie's Halloween is just around the corner. Isn't that right? yeah, That's how old this video Anchor is. Bay, Star Home Entertainment's new Glowing Eyes edition. Let's see if you can get a shot of that. Look at that. Look how hot take oh, Halloween. When you put that in light, it's got little diamonds on it, and it makes the eyes and the pumpkin glow. Yeah, it's it's pretty Slip cool. Pace. I don't know if the camera can pick it up. The case is awesome. But when you take the case off, it's the same DVD we've seen for years. How many times did they release that back in the day? I fucking oh, couldn't man. tell you. That's a neat trick, though. I mean, you just... So Basically, that's the old Dead covered. Pit Studio, yeah, it's man. Like, it's the exact same DVD yeah. that came out. It's probably the ugliest <laughs> blue <laughs> walls of all time. But so they're like legendary. Um, yeah. But we're going to review the movie itself first. Uh, if you haven't seen the movie... You I used to order all those fantasy movie shirts movie. from like kingsize.com. <laughs> to a television. There's a couple. You could be blind. Yeah, you could be yeah. deaf and mute. Um... This is one of those movies <laughs> along the Have you ever thought about growing a ponytail back out, Uncle Bill? Uh, yeah, I've uh, thought about it. And then every time I bring it up, like, uh, everybody in the my whole is like, don't you fucking dare. And the only thing about you and the ponytail is it makes your head look really, really small. That's true. It basically made its money. Whereas, like, you got thick hair and it kind of puffs out and make you, yeah, makes made you look like you have a regular size head. Back. Times like 100 or something. Plus, man, I don't think I can do that so, again uh, where you have to like take care of it and like and it's just a pain in the ass. Nationally. Up until the Blair Witch Project, it was the highest grossing independent film of all time. So mm -hmm. that's a pretty amazing feat for 1978. God oh, damn, how long did we talk about this movie before? And shortly thereafter, pretty long time. had, of course, all the spawns from Halloween, such as the Friday the 13th movies and uh, the burning. And films like Just Before Dawn, Don't Go in the Woods Alone, The Forest. And my Lander. eyebrows were really on point on at that point in my life. <laughs> you no know, sad. My pick, my axe. My sword. My God. <laughs> <laughs> so, I remember that uh, This movie really started it all. I mean, it that'd, be a good, that'd be a good tagline for a movie we did. <laughs> my God. And, uh, my about, sword, my pick, my axe. My God. <laughs> Rebel John, the fucking <laughs> slasher. On a Halloween night, he decided he would murder uh, his family. Yeah, so this is, uh, is this working, everybody that's watching this? Because there's a lot of things that we could do this so way. He gets sent away to uh, eventually. And Donald Pleasant's place. Yeah, I don't know what happened to my eyebrows. They were is, uh, wonderful back then. They are like two big old caterpillars just fucking sitting there. And he wants to keep your them your eyebrow hair, hair fell out. It must have. Evil. It must have thinned out. The number of speeches Donald Pleasant gives about him being evil throughout the What's episode. funny is, but is like, uh, around this time, my hair was like really freaking thick. And then within a span and, uh, of like a year, it just started like going away. To try to finish the job that he started before. Comes back to Haddonfield. You ever think that maybe it was like because we had the ponytails and shit? Other sister, because it was like you don't pulling find that until part two. Yeah. I don't think that was. I thought about that, John but Carpenter's, you know, I cut my hair though. Is the thing, and it's yeah. still getting like so it's, it's still it's really, started yeah, falling out uh, more and more a as the year went by. Very years went by. Slasher film was very uh, uh, atmospheric. The music, the score of the film is perfect. I think. I think the movie is actually perfect. Which I, I can't really understand other than making money while they're remaking it. <laughs> because you can't improve on, upon perfection, in my mind. Why are they remaking Halloween? I don't fucking know. So I'll find that out later. I mean, Little did we know. Use of lighting and some of 16, 17 years later, there was what, five more Halloween movies. In a film at the time. 
That and is. And John Carpenter just... does a wonderful job as a director of the film. It's really little gore in this film. So and this this review was like made before really Rob Zombie's Halloween, right? Before it this came out, yeah. Like God a, damn. A we had no idea what was going <laughs> to like, happen. After. <laughs> Think about how many Halloween movies they've done since it's this. A Halloween classic. I mean, it's called Halloween. Yeah, it's a and staple of the genre. As many sequels. I think this is the first time we ever reviewed Halloween too. Comes in close had to have been. Real. Make no mistake about it. I mean, part two was good, yeah. but it was not on the level of the original. Not even close. And um, the thing I think about when I hear about the Rob Zombie remake and I say you can't improve upon perfection. Okay, imagine this. Imagine, imagine the imagine. most beautiful woman in the world. Here comes one of your fucking analogies. Name one. Name the beautiful lady. Eagle Jessica picker. Simpson. Jessica, Jessica Simpson. Simpson. Jessica Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> now that <laughs> ages it right there, boys. That's a, that's a period in time. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying, I'm just saying it, you can't, something that's like this film. A, a I don't even know film, where the fuck I was film. going. <laughs> There's no reason to remake. Yeah. I, I like that, though. That's a good metaphor. Yeah. I was thinking something along the lines of this remake to me is like if Jessica Simpson said, you know what? I really need to have a doctor put a penis on me. Dong. <laughs> 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 yeah. So. Um, but the oh, oh, boys. <laughs> yeah, that's an age well. In this, movie. this movie and Evil Dead. Oh, you know, we released more, more times than anything. Shit. Army of Darkness, too. Army of Darkness. Oh, God. But the, the truth of the matter is, this isn't... I didn't movie. see that coming. No, it's it's at movie. all. <laughs> oh, my DVD, God. You do have a pretty good amount of extras on it. Whew. You have the Halloween Unmasked. It's hard to believe I was like it's called 2000 because it was made more before. hardcore then um, than I am now. <laughs> behind the scenes steel gallery. Oh, come soft gallery. over yeah, the years. Like radio spots, original theatrical oh, God. Theater. You've got the wide <laughs> version and the full frame version of the movie on this DVD. Yeah, keep in mind, too, that the, the uh, uh, Halloween Unmasked. This woke pit now. Snyder, so I, think everybody I mean, as compared to then, yeah. And, of course, you have this great new cover that... Uh, <laughs> Sparkles and shine greatly. That's such so, a cute thing to say. Now, I don't know what the fuck I was doing back then. That was so cute. Glowing pumpkin dish. Oh, God. It has the Uncle Bill looks like he wants to fuck somebody up and, in this uh, video. Go check it out. If you haven't got yeah, the DVD, very yet, shame on you. Yeah, you shame on you, boss. Right but it, if you really don't have it yet, I would honestly wait until next year. Because the truth of the matter is, next year is the 30th anniversary of Halloween. That, coupled with the fact that the remake is coming out very soon, means that, yes. No, I want you oh, to buy yes. this one, too, though. Because if you don't have it, you need to buy all of them. Well, you got to have the glow. I want you to buy every glow edition. Yeah, we had to make Anchor Bay happy so, back then. Okay. Yeah. Glow and Pumpkin Edition cover. Out now from Anchor Bay Entertainment. He <laughs> just fucking cut it out like, fuck it. There it is. Buddy, that was a that was a trip oh, down memory lane right there. Well, I just want you all to know that I'm a good person. Give us the thumbs up. Off you butts. Like, subscribe, and if you subscribe, here's something else you can do. Once you subscribe, you can click the bell notification, right, and it'll notify you anytime. That dead pit puts up new shit. Or don't. I really don't give a f if you do. I want you to. I want you to. <laughs> I don't let's, care. let's keep our community growing here on no, YouTube. I don't, I don't like it. I don't want you to do nothing. Listen, they need to do that, pal. No, don't you yeah. dare do it. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And <laughs> click that bell. There's all kinds of wonderful shirts over at shop.deadpit.com. Dot com. Simply the best horror shirts on T Public. There are others, but they all suck. You can get some Dead Pit Radio shirts. You can get Last South on the left. The Hills Have Eyes. Texas Chainsaw. Oh, wait, you can't say Texas Chainsaw. All kinds of shirts, folks. You're going to love them. Shop.deadpit.com. Thank you to all of our supporters on Patreon. Deadpit on Patreon.com is the only place to check out 
a complete archive of the old Dead Pit Radio shows all the way back from 2005 on, in addition to the midweek shows, fan commentaries, exclusive podcasts, and much more. Dead Pit on Patreon.com if you're interested. Tiers start at only $1.